now uh, we are going to discuss uh, coronary artery disease coronary artery disease coronary artery disease is also known as coronary artery disease it is also known as ischemic heart disease ischemic heart disease and this is all this is also similar or almost similar to um, ischemic to the term ischemic cardio myopathy pathy ischemic ischemic so we will first discuss before going to definition of ischemic heart disease we will discuss what is ischemia and uh, what is hypoxemia what is ischemia versus isolated hypoxemia or in another term we will discuss in this heading which one is more dangerous ischemia or isolated hypoxemia when we will talk about the ischemia the term itself tells about three things in ischemia there is three things you have to keep in the mind when there is coronary artery disease when there is coronary artery disease if this one is coronary artery and this one is stenosis of the coronary artery so there is reduced flow to distal part to this part of the coronary artery so there is decreased oxygen supply to the myocardium decreased oxygen supply and due to decreased blood supply there is also deprived or decreased decreased other nutrients to the myocardium to the myocardium and another thing due to decreased blood supply due to ischemia there is decreased or no wash out of metabolic waste metabolic waste of myocardium so in ischemia these all three things gets involved decreased oxygen supply decreased nutrients you know the myocardium uh, the <coughs> fatty acid is the substrate for energy for myocardium while other tissue needs glucose but so other nutrients which are decreased due to relatively ischemia due to release, due to decreased blood supply fatty acid is not available for energy production of the energy in the myocardium glucose you know the in the heart the only about 60% of the heart is having the myocardium around 35 to 40% of the my heart is consist of is composed of is made up of connective tissue <coughs> so these 40 32 35 to 40 percent of uh, connective tissue needs glucose, while the 60 percent of the heart muscle, that is myocardium, needs fatty acid for metabolism. So, in when you compare the ischemia to relative hypoxia, 
relative hypoxemia not hypoxia ischemia is more dangerous than hypoxia because in hypoxemia isolated hypoxemia because in hypoxemia only oxygen supply is disturbed only oxygen supply is reduced while in ischemia the all other things are also involved which is important for the heart which is important for the metabolism which is important for survival of the myocardium so it is the ischemia <coughs> what the what are the condition which only causes to decrease the oxygen supply of the heart the causes are very severe anemia very severe anemia copd chronic obstructive pulmonary disease congenital heart disease heart disease so now we will discuss so these are the condition where only the decreased oxygen supply is there now we will discuss what is ischemic heart disease what is coronary heart disease coronary artery disease what is ischemic cardiomyopathy so ischemic heart disease is not a single condition it is a group of condition or you or you can tell that it is a clinical pathological syndrome which occurs which takes place due to relative ischemia which takes place due to relative ischemia and that relative ischemia occurs due to either increased oxygen either decreased oxygen supply and or increased demand by the myocardium so in the definition of ischemic heart disease in the ischemia in the definition of ischemic heart disease during <coughs> during explaining the definition of ischemic heart disease two terms should come in the mind one is oxygen supply decreased oxygen supply and another is increased demand by the myocardium cardium so the definition definition of ischemic heart disease is definition of ischemic heart disease is the clinical pathological syndrome which occurs due to decreased supply and or increased demand by the myocardium leading to relative ischemia that is the complete definition of ischemic heart disease <coughs> now what are the now we will discuss the what are the causes what are the causes of decreased oxygen supply in about 90% of the cases it is atherosclerosis which causes decreased oxygen supply we will discuss atherosclerosis how atheroma forms what are the composition of atheroma what are the plaque what are the stable plaque what are the unstable plaque in the next video but at this time only we, i am going to mention that
causes of decreased oxygen supply in 90% of the cases it is atherosclerosis it is atherosclerosis when the plaque is getting deposited here it lead to deposition of it lead to reduced blood supply in distal part of the coronary artery distal part of the coronary artery leading to ischemic heart disease other cause other cause is aortic dissection aortic dissection more prone to develop in cases of marfan syndrome or hypertensive patient what happened what happened that suppose this one is aorta and this one is intimal layer this one is intimal layer and due to any reason if this intimal layer is there is breach in this intimal layer so the blood will travel through this breach or break in the endothelial layer in both direction and it will lead to separation of intimal flare intimal and development of a false lumen now it become this become this and coronary artery arises from the sinus of valsalva this one is right if if you assume this one is right sinus of valsalva right coronary artery arises from the right sinus of valsalva while the left coronary artery arises as a left main from the left sinus of valsalva so if this intimal disruption progressively will have the tendency to involve the coronary intima also so involvement of aortic dissection in aortic dissection involvement of the coronary artery also leads to development of ischemic heart disease leading to development of angina like symptom third most third common vasculitis vasculitis suppose 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 this one is coronary artery disease the uh, so suppose this one is coronary artery suppose this one is coronary artery and there is infection and inflammation of the endothelium of the coronary artery and this this infection or inflammation of the endothelium of the coronary artery will cause endothelium to be dysfunctional so dysfunctional epithelium has tendency to attract the platelet so many platelet will come here many platelet will come here and attached and due to attachment of platelet here and reaction with the endothelial tissue it will release many mediators for chemical mediation it will release many chemical mediators like serotonin like uh, thromboxane like platelet factor 3 4 5 and it will attracts many clotting factor of the blood many coagulation factor of the blood so now on the platelet there is association of many platelet factor and there is formation of clot here and now it can lead to stenosis in the lumen of the coronary artery same process will can happen on either side whole of the lumen 
and it can obstruct. So these vasculitis usually in the Kawasaki disease. Kawasaki disease. Sakawasaki disease, pain arthritis nodosa, and Takayasu Biji. What are the other conditions which causes decreased oxygen supply? Severe, very severe anemia. There is ischemia and patients present as ischemic heart disease. Patient in hypotensive shock. Hypotensive shock. So these are the most common causes of decreased oxygen supply to the myocardium leading to ischemic heart disease. In next video, in next class, I will tell you what are the causes what are the causes which increases the demand of the myocardium which increases the demand of the myocardium that present like that causes ischemic heart disease if you if you like this video please subscribe the channel thanks for watching